Hi, this is Will Spencer from the Renaissance of Men with a 21 Report. Here with Elliot and Colleen Hulse. Hi, good to see you guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks you. for being here. You guys just hosted a discussion uh, between the two of you for the 22 convention. How did that go? It went really well. It was amazing to have my wife on stage. I'm typically in front of the camera and to have my life partner there with me was amazing. Yeah, it went well. Did you enjoy answering questions? I did, mm -hmm. I enjoyed the discussion. There were a lot of good questions and a lot of, a lot of good points driven home. I think people resonated with what we had to say. Mm -hmm. What was the main theme of what you guys were sharing? Well, you know, I was inspired to bring her on stage as a result of the type of content that I create for social media. And I'm speaking mainly to men. Um, and a lot of times men and women ask, what does your wife think about that? Right? And I'll say something that may sound a little harsh or difficult for the postmodern mind to absorb. Uh, and then the question becomes, well, where's your wife? What does she think about this? And so I thought this was a great opportunity to bring her on to show that uh, we live this way successfully and traditional marriage and family is, uh, is, a, is, a, is a beautiful thing, um, especially if we're both on the same page and we are. And how was the experience for you? Like, was there a message that you wanted to share or to reinforce Elliot's message maybe? Or? Yeah, just to reinforce that, that what we do works, the way we, we relate to one another works, the way we relate to our children works. Um, and that going back to tradi traditional values and um, choices can really make an impact in, in, your, in your marriage and in your family and, and really your legacy. Mm -hmm. And I think we were able to drive that point home well with, with the women in the audience. You think it landed for them? I think so. Yeah, they seem mm -hmm. to resonate with it. Well, it's great to see that there are so many women that are receptive to the message. Mm -hmm because the subversion has been complete. It's been quite a long ride. Um, and to be saying things that are traditional, n normal, if you consider the scope of human history, uh, and not get negative feedback or you know the, 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 the vitriol and hate that you'll often get from women who, and men who, by no fault of their own, have fallen victim to the gynocentric brainwashing of our culture. Mm -hmm. So you, did, you didn't get any pushback from the, from the audience? No, it was actually very refreshing to have women echo back to us, yes, it is really valuable for a mom to stay home with her children. Mm -hmm. It is really valuable for a woman to provide what she can for the home and to provide a nurturing environment and a nurturing home and to support her husband and to encourage him in making big, courageous decisions. I think it was, it was amazing to be in a room full of women who, who kind of echoed that back and, and really saw the value of it. Did you see that coming? I did. Well, I didn't know what to expect, mm -hmm. um, but it was, it was a very welcome feeling. Yeah. Did you get to talk to any of the women after? Did they come up and discuss with you privately? Yeah. Yeah. There's a, another, another woman I spoke to who they're starting to homestead and kind of exploring that, that, that new lifestyle of kind of self-sufficiency and um, in a traditional marriage and just kind of being around those type of women that can kind of encourage me and, and um, it was refreshing. It was refreshing to kind of hear that back. And yeah, sometimes it feels like we're alone, yeah. right? We make some decisions based on our heart's calling, but to see the world typically going in a different direction and we're mm -hmm you know, going the opposite direction, it's good to be around like-minded people, so it was helpful. And they tend to be really happy, like-minded people. <laughs> yeah, when we see right. the people going in the other direction, they're usually the, you know, we don't necessarily want to be going in that direction with those angry, mean, you know, really sad people. Mm -hmm. And then to be in a room full of women who were really excited about where this path could potentially take you, mm -hmm. or have seen the errors of their ways having made other types of decisions, it was, it was great. Elliot, you encounter a lot of the other types of women. Was it refreshing for you to meet women that were receptive to your message? I'm an optimist. I tend to think that um, eventually everyone's going to wake up. So I, I kind of live to God's ears. Uh, yeah, um, I kind of live in a bubble as well, right? We insulate ourselves in a bubble of our values and tend to be discerning about who gets in and who gets out. And so the rest of the world, to me, rolls off my back like water. 
so I'm open to whatever, and I was just I was pleased with what showed up. Now you've spoken many times at the 21 convention. How, what number is it? Five, six, something like that. I spoke at the first patriarch edition of the 21 convention in 2019. I want to say. Mm -hmm. So this is my third year. Third year. How have you seen the convention change over the past three years? Well, I, it's interesting. From what I understand, um, that year was the pivotal year, 2019, when the Patriarch edition of the 21 convention was uh, added. Uh, from what I understand, speaking with Anthony, the event was generally about men, but in relation to intersexual dynamics and how we can meet women, right? And so the advent of the Patriarch Edition allowed men who, dare I say, are elders in this space, meaning, well, I have a successful marriage, I have a successful family, and I might have something to add to what's next when you find your partner or your wife or whatever the case may be. So uh, that evolution invited me in, right? I was invited in as a part of that, and I'm pleased to see it blossoming because it's really the next step for us all. Understanding women, understanding intersexual dynamics is great, but then where does it lead? Where, how does it become generative? And that's in the space of marriage and family. That's a great word for a generative. It's an unexpected word. You wouldn't expect to hear it in a space like this, but generativity is very important to the men that I find. Right. I mean, when it boils down to it and we look back, that's the question we'll be asking ourselves. Mm -hmm. What did I produce? What did I create? How did I make the future better for this world? Mm -hmm. And Colleen, this is your first time at the first convention? Time. Yes. What have been your impressions overall so far of, of the total space? I've really enjoyed meeting the men that I've heard so much about from Elliot and who I've seen oh, online right, yeah. and who I know um, impact how he believes and what he thinks. and. Um, getting to meet people who, who kind of influence him and, and who fans that I know that he influences. It's, it's great to see that full circle of, of, of all of it. Um, being around the women, again, it's, it was a little shocking that they were so receptive. I was kind of expecting a little bit of pushback. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's the, even the next step beyond bringing in fathers is bringing in the women yeah that once the men are involved and once the fathers are involved then bring in the women and and don't be scared to to kind of put it out there for women because there are going to be women that are receptive to it and typically they'll be led by their husbands who through successful marriages and families they they know this is the right way and um yeah really to be around the women that can see that and can see that vision is is beautiful have you gotten a network with any of the other female speakers um, I've gotten some of their numbers and, mm -hmm. and their websites and stuff, but not yet, but mm -hmm. by the end of the weekend, I'm sure I will. Have you been recognized by any of the male attendees? Um, well, I, some of the fans, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I mean, it happens often, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. And then what's it like being here as a couple? I like you've come alone in the past and now you have your wife here with you. Is it a different experience having your wife here? Have you noticed a difference in the way that the men are treating you or the speakers maybe? No, not that, um, how can I say this? Of course it's different because she's here with me, but my relationship with the guys and what unfolds and how everything's happening is essentially the same, but it's been beautiful to see how, you know, some of the men that are here are not into marriage, they're, you know, more into dating and things of that nature, but then to be able to respect uh, myself and my wife in a way that uh, shows that they acknowledge that the possibility of a healthy marriage and family is capable is possible um, and that's just been amazing it's, just, it's, it's been all but good the recognition of you guys as a couple and to acknowledge the value of marriage mm hmm yeah I think it's important for them to see us together as well right because once again you hear me and you see me, I'm on video and I'm spitting all this stuff and I'm ranting, I'm going and it's like, wow, Elliot, are you nuts? And <laughs> for them to then see, well, I am this way, but it works and this is, your wife is evidence, mm -hmm. right? I think I remember um, uh, Derek Prince once saying that there was a, a pastor who would never judge a man until he met his wife. Mm -hmm. He's always oh, a good man, he's a good man. Wait, have you met his wife? And then when you meet his wife, you know the true heart of that man, and she carries it well. 
How did you feel just getting ready to bring her for the first time? Were there, were there any feelings at all? No, there were no feelings. Um, I don't know if this is strange or not, but we're rather comfortable around each other. I don't know how it is for some couples, but like I'd actually prefer to have her around, and I'm sure it's the same for her. So uh, was there any discomfort? I would say the complete opposite. It's actually very comfortable having my wife with me. Do you guys think you'll do something like this again? Or Colleen, maybe you'll give a talk at 22 on your own next year? Perhaps. Really? <laughs> Perhaps. I know we've talked about doing things together mm -hmm. in terms of couples and marriage and family and um, kind of exploring that for the future, but it's definitely a first step. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wonderful. Thank you guys both very much for being here and for talking with me and for contributing to the people here. You got summer. it, Will. Thanks, Thanks a lot. This is Will Spencer from the Renaissance of Men with a new 21 report. Thanks very much.